Welcome to Module 14 of the Experiential Education Series. This is Professor Teferro from Port St. Lucie, Florida. And uh, tonight's topic is learning from your mistakes. Um, fortunately, I've never made any mistakes in my life, so I don't have to learn from them. No. <laughs> That'll be the day. Uh, I've made many more mistakes than you have, trust me. And uh, I've tried to learn from my mistakes, and I've learned that uh, if you can uh, learn from your mistakes, you'll do better in the future. So, um, you're going to have to learn from your mistakes as well. Uh, you're going to make mistakes in your team presentation. You're going to make mistakes in your uh, team PowerPoint presentation. You're going to make mistakes in your team video. You're going to make mistakes in your team, your individual uh, presentation for your company. And you're going to make mistakes in your individual um, video presentations. Now, um, given those four areas that you're guaranteed to make mistakes in, um, if you begin correcting your mistakes and taking note of the things that go wrong with your team projects and eliminate those problems for your individual projects, you'll make far fewer mistakes in your individual project than you will in your team project. It's been my experience that my students have improved their presentations for their uh, individual uh, presentations uh, after they have done their team presentations and um, they discovered what mistakes they shouldn't make the next time around. Let's discuss some of the common mistakes that uh, most people make with their um, team and individual presentations. Uh, in the team presentation, some of the mistakes that are made are um, people leaving out um, key uh, data about the country. Maybe they didn't put a map in. Uh, maybe they didn't put their, uh, their leader's name in or their, a picture of their leader or uh, even the flag of the country. Uh, omitting any of these things is a uh, major mistake, so it will lower your grade. Um, and, of course, the most important element of the team um, competitions is highlighting the strengths of your country and uh, the economic uh, areas where your country makes the most money and has the most power. Uh, if you're able to illustrate that properly, then you've done a good job. And you should do exactly the same thing for your individual companies. Individual companies are a lot like countries. They're in competition, they're looking for market share, and uh, they need to have uh, their assets highlighted in PowerPoint presentations and videos. So, um, what are some of the mistakes that you make besides uh, omitting a few things or omitting some um, data? Well, um, in the country presentations, you have to make sure that you uh, have lots of good financial data. And you need a lot of good financial data in your individual company presentations as well. So um, if you made that mistake in your original presentation, don't make it for your, um, if you made it for your, uh, your country presentation uh, mistakes, don't make those same mistakes for your individual presentations. Make sure you eliminate them. Um, the second thing is that, um, uh, you may have things that are in your individual presentation that you don't have in your country presentation. For example, uh, you're going to do a website analysis for your company uh, in your individual presentation. You won't be doing that for your country. Um, and you have, this will be the first time that you're doing it, so there's a good chance you might make a mistake in that area. Uh, be sure you're thorough with your website analysis. Make sure you uh, examine the home page carefully navigation to the other pages, product pages, product page analysis and advertising and marketing techniques. Uh, make sure you look at the social pages, make sure they have uh, social connections and social uh, networking. And a blog is also good to have. Learn how to write a one or two paragraph blog with a photo. That's a great thing for a website to have, yet over 80% of the websites for major companies don't have all of these elements. Your job is to find out which elements they don't have and to make suggestions for solutions for them. This will not only 
help you uh, uh, improve your ePortfolio. It will help you get a better chance for getting an interview for an entry-level position. And you will have a big advantage over the other people going to the job fair. So uh, keep these things in mind when you're doing your presentations, both for your country and for your individual presentation. Learn from the mistakes that are made in the earlier ones. Learn from other teams' mistakes. Learn from other companies' mistakes. That's why you should watch other people's presentations in class, because you have to see what mistakes they have made. So, uh, good luck for all of these presentations, and remember, learn from your mistakes. Take care.